Hey guys, Tanner here. Today I am back with another Ninjago Sons of Garmin on speculation video, and today's topic will once again focus on the story of Season 8 itself. A few weeks back I speculated about the Oni Masks and what their purpose is in Season 8. I predicted that somehow, united, they can resurrect Lord Garmadon. But one question that I purposely left out of that video is the origins of the masks themselves. Where exactly did they come from? Well, being the theorist I am, I figured I would provide some speculation. I have a few different theories regarding the origins of these new MacGuffins, and the first one that I want to talk about is the possibility of them being created by Garmadon himself. Himself. What if back during the Serpentine Wars, or even after his complete transformation, he created the masks as backup just in case he were to perish? I don't know who he would have left them behind for, unless, like Sensei Wu, he managed to train a small group of people or had a small following. My second theory suggests that in Season 8, we will see the introduction of an entirely new realm. Again, the phrase Oni relates to demon or devil or something along those lines. So what if there exists a realm which is inhabited by hell-like beings similar to demons? Maybe this realm even houses a being of immense power, similar to that of the preeminent from the Cursed Realm. I could definitely see something like this happening. For one, you get a chance to introduce another of the 16 realms, and have that realm tie in with Ninjago's history, and it would also introduce another major threat into the land of Ninjago. Garmadon is presumably the main villain of Season 8, but that does not mean that there cannot be another threat. If they do go this route though, I have a feeling that it will just be a revamp of Season 5, so this might not work out and might not happen, but I still stick by my theory that the Oni Masks are from a different realm. Now my third theory may be a little crazy to some, and might actually scare some people away, but I'm still going to explain it because to me it sounds really interesting. So basically my theory goes that the Oni masks were created by the first Pinjutsu Master. We already know that Season 8 will focus on the first Pinjutsu Master a little bit and sort of explain his backstory, so this is mainly where that theory stems from. We've seen glimpses before of the beginning of Ninjago and the first Pinjutsu Master's origins, but some specifics really weren't highlighted that much. We all know that the first Pinjutsu Master created the land of Ninjago long ago using the four golden weapons, but what if the Oni Masks had something to do with that as well? What if the Oni Masks somehow contributed a little bit to the formation of the land? Again, we don't know at this point if the Oni Masks will possess any sort of element, but we know that the first Ninjutsu Master and the Golden Weapons did. Maybe the Golden Weapons on their own were not enough to create the Land of Ninjago, so the first Ninjutsu Master had to use a little bit of dark magic. The plot point of the first Ninjutsu Master, using that evil to create the land the ninja walk on, would be devastating to them, and especially in the case of Lloyd. That also leaves the door open to do a sort of identity crisis story featuring Lloyd. I would love to see this happen because it could be really interesting, and would make us rethink the history of Ninjago as a whole. We can infer though that the masks either come from a dangerous place or hold some sort of immense power. Another point of evidence is the fact that one of them was being locked away in one of Cyrus Borg's facilities. They must be of some importance, but figuring out what they do and where exactly they come from remains a mystery. But now I turn to you. Where do you think these strange relics come from? And of what significance will they be in Season 8? But besides that, that's pretty much all I have to say in this video, so thank you guys so very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up rating, and as always, be sure to hit that subscribe button, guys, because it really does mean a lot to me. Don't forget to leave a comment stating what you thought of the video itself or the subject matter, or if you just had a general comment, that's fine too. Thank you guys so very much for watching once again. My name is Tanner Fishies, and with that, I bid you farewell. Well.